Hello everyone, in the previous module we have seen how an MQ7 gas sensor requires a signal conditioning system that is because it has a special the, the type of input what has to be given to the gas sensor is such that you cannot directly give the, uh, an input from a function generator. So, the constant 0 to 5 volts is not really sufficient for the performance of your gas sensor. For applications where you cannot directly give a constant power supply where uh, we, as we have discussed it requires a voltage of 1.4 volts for the given duty cycle and then during the off period it requires a, a different set of voltage the on and off uh, requires input voltage to be at different levels. So, in our case when we are talking about the MQ7 gas sensor, so it operates between 2 voltage levels that is 1.4 volts and then 5 volts. So, from a given constant voltage from a function generator, how do we set up this uh, a differential voltage input? Coming to the circuit as we had already discussed, so the uh, op amp could be connected the feedback circuit could be given as such like however you the way you are seeing it in the slide here. Now in order to build or rig up the entire circuit, I would suggest you have a look at the TL082 uh, pin out. So, it looks something like this. So, the two op amps the uh, each pin uh, the, uh, the VCC the inverting non inverting inputs. Uh, and uh, the other diagram I mean the, the diagram clearly depicts how each pin can be connected so that you could integrate this with your circuit. Now considering I have a TL082 let us see how do I rig up the circuit and how do I achieve this uh, 1.4 volts to 5 volts from a constant 0 to 5 volts DC source that is what I get from the function generator. Now coming to the circuit. So, as you can see this here what I am pointing to is the TL082 IC and it has 8 pins 4 on each side. Each of the pins have been connected as per the, the, the slide what I have shown you the pin outs. So, you have pin 4 and pin 8 which goes to plus VCC and minus VCC and then you have the other pins connected so 2 and 3 are the inputs to the op amp and 1 is your output. Just following the pin out diagram what I have shown the entire circuit has been rigged up. So, the first resistor here and then the 3.3 kilo ohm resistor which is connected to your V ref that is you require 1.4 volts. So, this goes to your RPC where you have given the reference voltage connecting the feedback just as the diagram what was given what was shared with you on the previous slide after once we rig up say I have given an input coming to the function generator here I have set the duty cycle and given the input. Now let us see I have given it 0 to 5 volts input in the function generator here the frequency is set to 1 kilohertz and then you set the duty cycle based on the requirement. So, once I set the input let us see how the output is generated. Now that we have given the reference voltage 1.4 volts and the input from the function generator 0 to 5 volts let us see how the output can be observed as you can see here on the CRO. The lower limit reads 1.4 volts and then you see the upper limit which is 4.72 volts. So, it is not exactly what you need that is we, we wanted 1.4 to 5 volts. However, considering the internal offset or the tolerances of the resistor considering the losses so, we have the voltage at the output between 1.4 volts to 4.7 volt. So, this was the circuit for realizing how an MQ7 gas sensor which runs on 
different duty cycle that is during the on period it requires certain voltage levels and then during off period it requires this 1.4 volts and that is how you can achieve the scaling. How do you get a scaling circuit? This is one such example. So, what we have done is from 0 to 5 volts for the given duty cycle we have designed the scaling circuit and then given the now, now, now that you know how to design the driver circuit we know how to get 1.4 volts to 5 volts so that you can have your gas sensor working based for your application. Thank you.